Vijay Rajani joining us on the show. A very good afternoon to you, uh, uh, Vijay, uh, Vinay. Sorry, I beg your pardon. And uh, Vinay, the first talk that you're going to talk about is Astral. How is this one looking on the charts? Yeah, good afternoon and thanks for having me on the show. So today, Extral has given a clear cut breakout on the weekly and monthly chart. It was consolidating in the range for last many months. The upper range was 2000 and on the downside, it went up to 1760, 1750. So this was the range which was holding for last uh, eight, nine months. And in this month, we have seen a in, because of the today's move as it has gone up by 6% with a significant jump in volume, it has turned out to be a flag pattern breakout on the monthly chart. So it's a big development on the weekly and monthly charts, uh, which gives a good uh, upside target in this particular stock. So stock has just uh, uh, registered a new all time high at 2095 and it is likely to continue its trend. So positionally, I like this stock for the medium term. And uh, 1760-1780 has become a strong base for the counter. So dip should be bought into and the support is around uh, 2000 odd levels. So if it comes down, one can uh, utilize that uh, uh, things for uh, accumulating at the lower level. So buy on dips, a uh, kind of strategy one can adopt here and one can expect a good upside target of beyond 2200 also. So overall looks very strong on the charts and it's a clear cut breakout on the weekly and monthly pattern. Okay, that's the word coming in there. But let's move on to the next stock. And Sona Comstar, uh, that's the stock that is in focus as well. Uh, why is that so? Today the stock is buzzing because they've received a certification from Hub Wheel Drive uh, Motor for electric two vehicles uh, for under the PLI scheme for automobile and auto component industry in India. And they are among the seven applications that it had filed. This is one of the applications as well for a PLI scheme. And on the back of this, we've seen Sona Comstar just picking up pace since uh, a morning and as of now trading with gains of almost 5.4%, um, 5.3% as of now as well. Also, let's not forget Sona Comstar had reported a great set of numbers as well. This is the first uh, automotive component company who's actually received an auto PLI certification. And this certification is mainly, like I mentioned, uh, for electric two-wheeler uh, two space which they are looking at as well and um, for uh, the company Sona Comsa, their not, uh, net order book for uh, around Q3 FI24 was at around 24,000 crores. Seems like this will be giving it a further push with the PLI scheme as well and that is why keeping an eye out on Sona Comsa. Alright, moving on, Vinay, let's talk about Bharat Electronics then and how is this one looking on the charts to you? Still an attractive bet to be in? Yeah, definitely it is. It has just uh, registered a new all-time high. In fact, yesterday there was a breakout and breakout from the consolidation. And this was the stock uh, which was not performing uh, as compared to the other PSU stocks. But after four months of running correction, it has now resumed its primary uptrend. And as it is a PSU stock and also a defense stock, we can say, now the sector is there in the limelight and still the stock has given a fresh breakout on the chart. So yesterday there was a breakout when it crossed the level of 195. Now it is trading at 205. So the previous resistance now becomes the support, which is around 195. So keeping that stop loss in mind, one can continue to hold on this particular stock with a trailing stop loss. So don't anticipate any particular target for this stock. So I would recommend a strategy of buying the, uh, holding this stock with a trailing stop losses. And as of now, the trailing stop loss should be at 195. And as you see stock rising uh, from here, you should also trade your stop loss. So definitely a good setup on the charts. Right, moving on, let's talk about uh, Pratap Snacks as well as ITC. Both of these counters were in focus yesterday. But uh, today you have Pratap Snacks that are sulking in trade today. And why is that? Because they've come out with a clarification to the Economic Times report. I remember, the stock has fallen as much as 6%. That's more since November 24. The company has clarified that it is not in any negotiations with ITC over a stake sale. And on back of that, the stock is reeling under pressure. They say, and I quote, we are not aware of any information that has been announced to the exchanges. This is what Pratap Snacks has actually given in its clarification. So on back of that, we have Pratap Snacks that is declining in trade and ITC in focus because the reports suggested that ITC was uh, in uh, talks to actually go ahead and buy stake in Pratap Snacks. So keep both of them on your radar. Okay, let's move on to the next one and talk about an IT name, TCS Vinay. What is the view on TCS? We saw these uh, large cap IT names actually buzz a couple of days back today the mid cap it is buzzing on the back of uh, nvidia's good set of numbers that came in as well so tcs what's the view for this yeah, so the 
primary trend is intact. The TCS in, actually a couple of weeks back it took out the crucial resistance of 3800. Now it is trading at 4050. Yesterday it formed a bullish engulfing pattern on the daily chart, which is a short term bullish reversal pattern. So from the crucial support it bounced back. Today there is uh, no doubt. Today there is no movement, and from the higher level it. Uh, uh, it has come down, but I think overall trend remains bullish. I think whatever dip uh, is coming from here should be taken as a buying opportunity because primary trend is bullish and yesterday's reversal pattern was also convincing. So I, I find this today's correction is a running correction, uh, can be a short lived. Again, the stock could uh, again resume its uptrend. So I would suggest that those who are holding the long position, the long position can be held with the stop loss of 3970, which happens to be the yesterday's low. So keeping that stop loss in mind, one can continue to hold on this stock and uh, keep the stop loss on the trailing basis. That's the best strategy to have in this kind of stock. So looking convincing and one of the best place, uh, technically placed IT stocks, I must say, for this uh, this particular stock. So looking good and uh, buy on dips uh, should be the uh, strategy for this particular stock. All right, Ankita, let's talk about Bajaj Auto then. Why is this one in focus today? Well, yes, Bajaj Auto is in focus today because electric mobility startup Yulu has raised $19 million in equity funding from the existing investors of uh, Bajaj Auto and Magna. And you know, after the aforesaid fresh investment, the company's shareholding in Yulu bikes now stands at 18.5%. Now, Bajaj Auto's investment in Yulu has uh, has secured a first move as an adv advantage. That's what the analysts are saying. They're saying that, you know, in India's growing electric two-wheeler market, especially in shared mobility, this is going to be a big first mover advantage for Bajaj Auto. This positions them strongly against the competitors entering the EV space, ensuring a significant edge. Now, Bajaj Auto can partner with Yulu to innovate and test the EV technologies like battery swapping and charging infrastructure. And this is going to further help uh, the EV ecosystem in India also. So on the back of that, Bajaj Auto is in focus today. Currently, the stock is knocked down four tenths of a percent, but that's the reason why Bajaj Auto is in focus. Let's move on and talk about Godrej Properties then and Vinay, Godrej Properties uh, in terms of uh, the charts, what is the view that you're getting for Godrej Properties last one year almost doubled, what is the view now because is it time to start booking profit? Yeah, so stellar performance by the Godrej Properties and today itself Nifty Realty Index has hit the all-time high. So not only this stock but uh, the other stocks like DLF, then uh, Prestige, Estage, Overall Reality all performed very well. So Godrej property has done, as you said, it has given a nice return to the investors and uh, the all-time high was registered in the month of October 2021. So in 21, there was a high of 2598. So around we can say 2600 is the all-time high and right now it is trading at 24300. So the kind of setup I can see it is absorbing the all the supply which comes and again coming and resuming its uptrend. So it is right now placed above all important moving averages indicators oscillators, oscillators that we track is indicating the continuation of an uptrend and I am expecting this stock to register a new all time high above 2600. So overall view remains bullish and those who are holding a trading long position can the long position I think can be held with a stop loss of 2300. So overall setup is good and stock is headed for the new all-time high about 2600. Right, uh, Lisa, uh, let's talk about RK Forging and why is this one in focus today? Right, so RK Forging, so they, the board has approved an investment of around 90 crore and this is to set up a facility in Mexico. Uh, the install capacity for the same that will be at around 11,000 metric uh, tons per annum and it is set to be operational by FI26. And uh, the operation in Mexico, now that is backed by a client uh, for, uh, this is a take or pay agreement that they had signed with a North American client and uh, it was a t it, it's a 10 year contract of around 3.5 million dollar per annum. So that's the reason they are setting a facility in Mexico. And uh, the good part is that uh, the uh, company is not required to spend any investment in the plants and machinery for manufacturing the products for the agreement. And uh, the management said that it opens a sea of opportunities for the company and it will entertain customers looking for local content in manufacturing of automotive uh, components in NAFTA region. So that is why we can see RK Forgings, it's up around 2% as we speak. All right, let's shift focus and let's talk about Colte Patel and this particular counter is in focus because it had a, a sizable block deal actually that took place uh, 
on an intraday basis or, or rather early morning. But if you can see the stock now, it is sulking in trade. At one point in time, it was trading higher by about 3.5%, taking the stock to the highest level since February 7. And this after it saw about 13.5 uh, lakh shares that changed hands via block deal. Uh, if you see the uh, company has snapped its gaining streak uh, and if you look at uh, the uh, total percentage of this block deal, the percentage was about 1.8% equity. So it's a sizable block deal. We don't have the information of the buyers and sellers as of now, but the stock definitely reeling under pressure, given up all of its gains post the block deal. Let's move on to the next one and uh, stock number 20 is Muthoot Finance. When, uh, when you talk about Muthoot Finance in the last one month, clearly I've seen a bit of a consolidation, a correction that you could see. What is the view now on Muthoot Finance? Uh, is it a downway street now for this one? Yeah, so it has corrected and uh, healthy correction was there. Uh, the recent swing high which was made in the month of January was 1537 and now stock has reached to 1316. Now the stock is trading below its 50 days average so definitely short term trend has been bearish but now the, I can see now it is almost at the level of 200 days exponential moving average which uh, we track for the long term and especially for the liquid stock like Muthut Finance. So I think uh, it is one of the good quality stock and it has now reached to the long term support of 200 days exponential moving average which is placed around 1300 odd level. So it is very near to the support so those who are having short position in this kind of stock should cover their short and wait for some stable stabilization. Once we see this stock finding support on its 200 days average, which is placed at 1300, we can expect a pullback rally in this counter. So as of now, short term trend is bearish, but I think uh, now uh, after a long time, it has reached a crucial support. So short should be squared off and one should wait for some stable move. And after uh, it finds support and uh, reverses this trend, then we can look for the long opportunities. But I would suggest that uh, correction is seems to be over now and very near to the long term support. Okay, let's move on to the next one and uh, Jana Small Finance Bank, that's a recently listed company, reported the numbers uh, yesterday. So overall, the interest income of the company has seen a growth. The profits of the company have seen a growth of around 13% on a year-on-year -year basis coming in at 134 crores. Asset quality also seems to have improved as well. 2.19% is what the GNPA came in at versus last quarter, 2.44. Even the net uh, uh, non-performing assets also have seen an improvement. So asset quality clearly has seen an improvement on a sequential basis. Profits have improved, net uh, interest income has also seen an improvement as well. And overall, other than that, the news flow that came in also is that they've raised uh, money via um, unsecured entities. So let's keep an eye on that. That is 350 crores. As of now, Jana Small Finance Bank gave up those morning gains that we saw trading quite flattish as of now. All right, moving on, Lisa, let's talk about Dilip Biltcon then. And why is this one in focus today? Dilip Bitcoin is in focus as it has signed a concession agreement with the Public Works Department of uh, in Goa and uh, the stock was up around 2% uh, uh, when it opened but then it has cooled off since then and uh, they will be uh, constructing observatory towers as well as viewing galleries including approaches, decorative lighting, parking and this will be in this new Zawari Bridge uh, which is in Goa. So yes, uh, Dilip Bitcoin, uh, even last week uh, the stock surged around 20% and that was on the back of good results and they also won a 400 crore order. So yes, uh, it's a back-to-back -back order win for uh, the Libilcon along with good results and the stock in the last uh, last week, it's up around 25% as we speak. Let's move on and talk about REC then. Vinay, this one has already seen a very sharp run-up. You know, is it time to start booking profits now for this one or are you expecting a further run-up still to continue? Yeah, so from the recent swing high of 524, it uh, came down to the level of 441, which was yesterday's low. And yesterday's low was exactly at its uh, 50 days exponential moving average. So I would say this is more of a, a running correction in the primary uptrend. So we have to uh, see that whether this uh, support holds or not. Still, PSU space has been showing strength and I don't see the stock is as reversed on the medium to long term chart. So overall trend still remains bullish. And those who are holding trading long position, I think that can be product protected with the stop loss of 441. So it is a very strong support and it has got good potential to reverse its trend on the upside. However, I am not recommending to go long at this price because we need some more confirmation. Once we see stock holding above 480, then we can expect some uh, momentum, bullish momentum to get back in. So right now we can say it is into consolidation, but long, long position should be protected with a stop loss of 441. 
right, uh, that is the view coming in on REC. Lisa, let's talk about another railway counter that is RFC. Why is this one in focus? Yes, so uh, the board has approved uh, uh, fundraising. Uh, they'll be floating bonds of around three thousand crore, and this will be, uh, and this will be on uh, the twenty second, twenty sixth of February. Now the board, uh, the bonds, it has a base issue of around five hundred crore with a green show option of around two thousand five hundred crore with a maturity period of around ten years. So yes, uh, that is why IRFC is in focus today. Okay, surely keeping an eye out on all those stocks today. But uh, with that, we're absolutely out of time on this edition of Market for Tafat on ET Now. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Vinod.